Hello and welcome to a bit about me, Joke94, as I continue to play Motorsport Manager with Livingston Motors. As you can see, we now have Engelhart, who is very good indeed, actually, but he isn't costing us like, a lot of money per race. We are losing over a million again. And it took him a while, so I didn't get to sign him with 100% marketability. But we do have a two star sponsor level now, or sponsor appeal. I, I did get someone, who was it? I'm sure I'll sign someone. No one star though, whatever. We've got a few here that I run at before the end of the season, so we can make use of this two star. And that does actually leave us with the best drivers on the grid. But un unfortunately, our, t our car is still trash. That is by far more important than drivers, as you can see here. Yeah, Garuda Racing have the worst drivers on the grid, but the best car, and that's where they win. Eastwood are second for both. But the car is so far behind, I mean, Hangle Hat's not too, uh, too, uh, too important to us. That's why I, I thought about getting him, but I decided to go for it. Maybe he can finish it a little higher than what we normally do, than what Anthony does. Of course, he is the number one. So he does get all the best parts. Funnily enough, when I fired uh, Anthony, she said she wanted to stay at Livingston Motors and win things. Well, first of all, when we win anything, second of all, she was considering uh, she was considering offers from other people. So, let's right get rid of her. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean my loyalty has gone down by one. But who cares? She's threatened to leave, so I got rid of her. Of course, we still need one more staff member. Actually, gonna swap. I do lose intermediate tires way more slow, but it doesn't matter. I think having the better, the better mechanic with Engelhart's, but especially with the car condition, just more slightly slow because that's really good for the first couple of races. That is, that is really good because you don't you don't have to repair. A lot of people do. That gains you a lot of positions, as you can imagine. But we are at Munich. Engelhart's home Grand Prix. So his debut for Livingston Motors is at his uh, home country. And he will start in pole position, thanks to being 21st. Because he's obviously not got any point yet, because it's his first race. Unfortunately, it doesn't mean Gomez will suffer morale, morale losses. The idea is to replace him as well with like a youngster that's got high, high max ability but as a number two driver, so they won't mind this too much. We are improving our parts. Fortunately, because I've not got um, a lot of staff, I've not been able to uh, finish it after the race or before the race. But the engine will be upgraded after, I think, for the next race. I'm hoping anyway. Yeah, because that's that 28 days yet. So the angels will be uh, ready for the next uh, next time. I don't think anyone's reliable is too low. Gearbox is a bit dodgy there. I think we're working on that. No, we're not. We should be. Gearbox is the... The... Uh, the one of the most dearest parts to repair in terms of time in a race. But we're going to race Engelhart with the best parts. He is our best driver, and he may be the best driver in this division until the top team gets relegated in season two. So hopefully, Engelhart can actually do better than what Gomez was doing. That's the hope. Gomez finished 16th last time, or 17th. He finished it above. No, it was 16th, I believe, because he finished above both Predator Racing's Anthony and one of the Dragon Racing guys. Which is good progress, actually. We're starting to already beat out yeah, some drivers. The other thing is, he has got 16 feedback, which does mean we should be able to get level 3 bonuses here. I've forgotten how many laps this is. There is a way. There is a way. I've seen Gamesbook do it. Twenty five laps, right. Well the forecast is nineteen degrees. Hmm. Oh, 
I can dust off quite easily because it's 25 laps stopping twice. So we need to do like eight or nine laps. Uh, I'm, I'm going to imagine Engelhart can quite easily do it because he's, he's going to have a lot better smoothness, I think. No, he's the same. Do we go on medium so we can push more? Yeah, we're going to go on softs, I think. I'm going to take the risk with softs. Although this is practice. I'm going to skip this, don't I? <laughs> right, okay. I will uh, see you when I've got practice uh, practice sorted. And that is the end of practice. Engelhart finishing 7th. Gomez getting 11th. Although only 0.2 second difference. So two hundredths of a second separating the two races there. And Engelhart is supposed to be the better driver with a better car, so... Yeah, we'll see what that means. Once again, despite being the worst drivers on the grid, Garuda there being very strong. Perez are there easily bringing up the wheel. We were beaten at that time, even even being on a normal pace. So that's good to see. We won't beat anybody else because we get 145s, but we were beating Predator. So even just driving normal, we can beat Predator, which is what we want to see. That's that's really our goal. It's just to keep beating beating uh, Predator. Both cars have got decent setups. Engelhart's got three greats. I've got an excellent with Gomez, but a good as well. I don't know. 94%. I'm going to leave it at that. That's good enough. I think it needs to be a little a tad more to the oversteer to make it a great and get 95%, which is what I normally go for. But, but I'll leave it as that. Engelhart, 95%, which is what I like to see. He's gonna stay out of the time lapse. Gomez is gonna come in first. Of course, we will attack and overtake. We only got level two, we didn't get level three, unfortunately. Which I was going for, about to bring him, bring him one too many times for my liking. Uh, Wait, strip him before I forget. Bring that down to 70. Down to 77, and that down to 70. That is crucial, but we want to improve that part. Oh, he's got the really high res zone. I've got oh crap. This car can just fail at anything then. Shite. See, he's in, one of the engineers, I think it's his now, but he has moved the red zone completely, which would be great at this stage, but... So he's only got like 40% reliability. Because I think if they're in the red zone, they can just fail straight up, so... I'm going to have to replace that next race. We'll just ignore it. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't fail on me. So Engelhart has the better car. And is getting a lot more performance from Rachel Bin as well, so he should be significantly better. And Gomez, assuming his engine's not failing. That's, that's, a, that's a blunder. Engelhart starting first because he is 21st in the championship. That's because Anthony's not in the race, uh, not in this series anymore, which just starts the points. And we're underway. Well, we've got five red lights for the German Grand Prix. Can Engelhart stay in first? He has the better car. And he does. Okay, good. Gomez up into third. Sponsor objective is third. Oh, I've had a bad session. I've completely forgot everything here. So we're not getting any sponsor money. I think that's going to sort everybody down here. He might do well because he might be able to defend quite well. I don't know. He is a three and a half star driver. He can actually drive in the Age Pacific Cup. He is good enough for that. I mean, he's one of the lower drivers for it. But he is, he is capable of racing that series. It is Elsa Depp behind us who does have a better car than the Archer. 
So everyone's still pushing. Most people are. There's one that's conserving over there. That's Rogers from Archer. Don't know why he's backing up already. Gomez is up into fifth. Overtaking Predator there. That's good. Held it up with the fastest lap. Half a second behind uh, Engelhart. Archetta's now pushing. No, Santa Ana's pushing and not attacking. And that is Predator. Hopefully Gomez can overtake Predator here. He does. The one car we can actually beat. Well, also that's actually losing a little ground here on Engelhart. He's gaining again. Still attacking. Okay, going to normal, especially for Engelhart, because he's got a dodgy engine. Which sucks. I have that part because I got a random good component on my as one of my components on my lead designer. And I think it increases it increases performance quite highly, but at the cost of more of a higher red zone. Everyone's locked up. I think my drivers did not lock up, so that's fine. You can now go into medium. Uh, angle that push for your tyres. Are people around Gomez doing? Okay, you can push as well for now. Temperature's pretty cold at 18 degrees. We still got the lead. When I played this in my other save in my first season, it was this race where I did good at. I'm not sure if I got a podium, but I'd finished quite highly for, 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 for my first season, so. There's some hope, so we know Engelhart is now getting overtaken. Because his engine's a bit crap. No, it's, it's, he's, he's, he has defended, uh, defended for now, but we've now got Marchetta. Marchetta behind us. Ooh, he's attacking. And Elsa Dark just goes past us there because his car is just simply better. Okay, go into normal. You know, a little second as well, there's nothing I can do. But we've gotten quite a bit ahead of, of Evans at least. Really, if Gomez can slow people down, protect Engelhart, who is retaking second place, that is quite a surprise. Gomez defending fourth from Melo in the. That's not Archer, that's Silver. Machetto is now conserving, it's probably why we overtook him. Oh, he's overtaking. Tire champs aren't looking too good, but I don't think they're going to increase in heat at 18 degrees. I think they're going to stay. I think they might even start to drop if we're lucky. Comes down into fifth. Let's quite a gap over six. Conserve your tyre for now. Melo was mocked up, uh, locked up. So that is off. Okay, there's no point defending second. Conserve your tyres. I think Santa Ana's blocking everyone behind her up. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Engelhart still in second for now. Machetta is now attacking. So we will attack. Still got a gap over six there. Is that, that's, yeah, that is Garuda, so the big boys are now coming. Engelhart is going to have problems with his tyre wear because Machetta's can serve his tyres to cool them down so we can attack again. Save tyres. He's not going to be able to keep uh, second for too much longer. That is Garuda. I'm not going to bother defending against Garuda because they've, they've got the best car on the grid. You know, we'll try. We'll see what happens. I'm going to cool down our tyres here. Got Melo and Machata up our backsides. Elsa Dat is starting to slowly push away here. A six second lead. Gomez defending from the Garuda, Garuda car. And that's still in second. See, third and fourth are fighting each other. It's going to make it harder to fight me. So, Engelhart, getting a bit lucky there. 
where there's opponents fighting each other. <laughs> Guy was enough to come into his pit soon. That is Mello there overtaking uh, Marchetta. We're going to have to conserve. He's lost his places now because we're going to lose things on this straight. Not a lot I can do, our engine's just trash. So if I attack, so they're going to start conserving now. Then we can put, we can attack. Stay on normal. But you conserve. Santana's dropping, we're not dropping too far behind here, so that's, that's alright. We're beating the Predator quite easily at the minute. Which is the goal. I'm having to conserve his tyre for the rest of his lap and push on his in lap. Giroud is now catching us because the cars are simply that good. Your drivers don't even matter in this game, it, it literally is your your car. Angle lap may, uh, maybe I sent him too early, who knows, we'll soon see uh, attack angle lap, trying to fend, fend off this Giroud car. He's not got a tyre to play with to be honest, so... Push. Push Gomez. Yes, defend. Smash him off the road. Right, you're going to have to pit. So he went eight laps. Yes, parts are fine. Garuda is on neutral there, good old Bu champ. Engelat's gonna get a few laps out of this. Okay, Garuda's uh Garuda's there's racing. Let him pass if you want, doesn't really matter. Making it work for it. Engelat conserving his tires, defending Garuda. Uh, attack Gomez, you might as well. Engelhardt getting the overcut, we'll see which one works. Also, that got a whopping lead. Shunt last, unless Garuda stayed uh, stuck behind Engelhardt. Is fifth going to pit as well? No, he's not. So, Garuda in quite early from the looks of it, so is uh, Gomez. Gomez coming out the pits. Peter are in the pits. That probably means Evans is going to pit. I'm guessing Evans is the last. It's not really Evans. Fourth place is attacking. Doesn't really matter because he's probably pitting. Okay, push. Inglehart has one more lap in him. That's good for him because it means he can stay on softs, guaranteed. Gomez will have to do his final stint on the medium. So if Abelow is pushing his tyres his entire time, he's not taken me yet. As you can see, he's turned down his tyre wear there. So I think he's going to have some tyre issues. Uh, if he stays out. Which he does. So it uh, doesn't really matter. He's still third. Uh, once again. Uh... Oh, shall, shall I, end? I forgot I had that. That's going to go into red zone before I finish. I'm going to have to risk it. Gomez in 14th. Got Johnston to there in the Eastwood, which is the second team that are in second, so he's not going to be able to defend that for much longer. Because they've got good drivers and a good car. Okay, attack with your tyres. Everyone ahead of us is, there, is, is pitting. Well, everyone ahead of Gomez is pitting. Well, from Melo onwards. Uh, Antonov and Van Aden both pitting. They are. They may, they may end up double stacking. Which would be a mistake. Everyone's going on to mediums. Okay. Interesting. So, Engelhardt is in the third, which is not 
bad at all. This is always pit screw, pit crew messing up, innit? Everyone from 7th on was asked to pit. So here comes Mailo there. Yeah, I think he's going to take first place. Engelart is out in 8th, in 9th. In 10th, 11th. I think he's the last one out of the pit crew, so his team messed him up there. His team really messed him up. Everyone else got uh, faster pit stops than we did there. Gomez is conserving. So Engelart is in 11th. I think that's his pit crew's fault. So everyone else got faster pits, pit stops than we did. But we are far ahead of uh, Santa Ana and Evans there. So not a bad race so far. Let's hope we can keep this up. So we're 11th and 12th. I'm sure Will Gomez is going to drop down to pecking order because he's in the worst car in the grid bubble. Is he pushing it? He, he, he is. I'm going to tell Gomez to attack then. I'll take on drive through some Rogers and Tang. I got to normal. You know where you're not, you're not close to 10th at all, and that's Garuda. So you're not going to catch him. We've got a gap over, you got a crap a gap over Gomez. In the. Uh, in the other Levingston motor car. So the car behind the Gomez here is dropping off his tyre where he is. He's only pushing now, not attacking. So as soon as he goes into conserve, I'm going to go into conserve. Because I'm going to have worse tyre heat than he is. Because he's got the harder compound. Right. The problem is he, he can cool his tyres down at a medium. Medium pushing. So just standard, I can't. I'm not going to conserve to... to uh, to cool that down, so he could quite easily just overtake me, forcing me to conserve. It started, it started against it, but that's what he could do. Because if I if I go on normal, as in yellow, the temperature will stay about the same, maybe go down slightly, at least based on what practice was telling me. So, I'm below there in eighth, setting the fastest lap. I I think you get points for that actually. Not sure. Gomez lets him pass. They're all going to be pushing, aren't they? I'm going to have to attack him. The cast behind him was attacking and it's caught me off guard. But it does mean Ingolak can serve a bit because he's got a gap thanks to Gomez. If Gomez attacks now with the rest of conserving, he might still be able to get some positions back. No, I'm attacking a risk with a tyre heat. <laughs> But he's picked him first anyway, I can afford a bit of tyre wear. Despite pushing, it lets people pass him for no goddamn reason. There's a gap between 18th though. So Gomez let me down, massive up there, I tried to overtake from the looks of it and just let everyone by him. So he's looking 17. Should be able to stay ahead of Santa Ana there. He's got a nice gap. And of course, he's in a better car. Well, in theory. Engelhart. God, you can't. You suck. They're uh, now pushing up to, to Engelhart. Uh, going to normal then. Match them for now. We can't really get any places at this point. Barring a good pit stop. So we're gonna just, uh, in fact, I think we stay on normal here, because 12 is conserving, and we've got the faster tire. We're the only team on the uh, softs. Everyone else is on mediums. I'm not sure why, because it's a pretty decent race for softs. Although we do have we do have good tire wear compared to everybody else based on our chassis. So Also not now in third, that's good. Top is still conserving. We've got we've got the tire straight in the middle zone though. Which is good. 
Twelve is also uh, Dreyfus is also conserving his engine. Now it now it's pushing. Now it's attacking, so we're gonna attack. We almost to start doing whatever because he's not gonna get in any positions. And eighteenth is quite far away from him for now. Both ways start ahead of Predator. And I think we're gonna finish ahead of Predator, so that's fine by me to be honest. Technically speaking, we're getting racing Dragon Race in tact. We're going to gain ground on Dragon Race in China here, thanks to Engelhart, but that doesn't matter. The important thing is, well, it doesn't really matter where we finish, but I want to finish above 10th, above Predator. And we're well on our way to doing that. We're going to get another 10 points over them with another three races to go, I think it is, after this. So, of course, one, one crash and it all comes undone, but as long as that doesn't happen, we're all right. Stay attacking and glide. You've got the tire wet and tire heating to do it. Dreyfus is going to back off his attack. There you go. Gomez now just falling behind because his ear is conserving his tyres. Santa Ana is catching. Okay, attack for a bit then. Actually, Santa Ana pitting. She's pitting already. That's, that's, that's the only that might be for a repair. Dreyfus is right up my ass. Right up Engelhart's house. We've got better tyre work on a softer compound, though. That's the thing, compared to Dreyfus. Gomez is up a position. I think someone's in the, yes, is in the pits. So we can afford to push a bit harder than Dreyfus if it comes to it, because he's, he's got the worst tyre wear. He's actually pitting. Okay. So people are pitting already. We're, they're pitting far before our rules. Now, if, if we're lucky, we'll have to pit twice. Or we'll finish the race on crappy tyres, which we can uh, which we can um, use to push against some positions. Okay, Dreyfus is attacking, so we'll make him work for it. We can attack as well. There you go. What's Gerard doing in 13th? He's going to the pits. Englart temporarily up into 5th. Of course, he's still got a pit, so... Oh, these are also overtaken because they're going to have better tyres. I'm going to be pushing. So he's going for his final lap. He's done quite a few laps on that, so... We can go one more soft. So we're gonna we're gonna come out well ahead of some people there apparently seventeenth well ahead of Axe Roger. So once again, we sh we should be able to uh, get some some decent points. Yeah, we've got nine laps on both sets of sets of tires, so we can get another race. That's fine. Engelhart's getting plenty though. If this was a long race, or if we could do one stops, Engelhart would be really good because his some of his mother's is really good. Might as well attack you're coming in in a few laps anyway. Watch it is really going for it. Uh Machet has got an issue, not me. I thought that was me. I'm about to have an issue. I'm about to have one on the engine, but for now we're doing alright. He might have to come to the pits to repair that. That means he probably can't push too hard. Okay, Engelhart's going to come in for his final set of sauce. A lap earlier than he needs to. But it's going to come out 9th, 10th. That is not bad at all, actually. I just hope his, his fucking engine not fail him. <laughs> You can attack with his tyres because he, 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 like, he can go nine laps and he only needs eight. So, Machata has passed him, but he's caused his car to have issues and there's still quite a few laps to go. So, he's took a big risk there to pass someone who should be going to the pits. 
we're out into 18th ahead of Predator well well ahead of Predator in fact we're in 17th and then we're fighting for it so we're going to beat Predator assuming Engelhardt does not break down but at this stage it's the risks you have to take I'm afraid because when we do get a good car Engelhardt's won them really well so Gomez losing 17th place Good camp there. Sitting the fastest lap. We're coming to the pits. That would have been a crash, surely. No mistake. Good pit stop. Where are we going to come? Well, that game matters, didn't it? We'll come out in 13th. That is Dragon Racing on the medium tyres, so. We might defend it. Okay, just conserve. There's a yellow flag. Fernandin has crashed, so Gomez gains a position. Good for him. In the 13th, I don't think anyone had lost the pit, unfortunately, but we have got the best set of tyres. But choom, choom. We could beat Dragon Racing as well, actually. Just straight up. If Engelhardt can defend. Well, if Gomez can defend as well, I doubt he can to be honest. Gomez is crap. Engelhardt, though, it's going to give us a 13th place finish so far. That would, be, that would be our best. Our best finish, I do believe. Come on. Yeah, his engine started to come a bit a bit dodgy now. Okay. His yeah, gamma hand is attacking. Ignore. It's only four laps. We should be fine. Okay, behind Engelheit is conserving. Now he's pushing. So we, well, it's attacking, so we're going to attack. We're defending from Dragon Racing China on both, both drivers here. We are closing the gap on 12th, but that's because he's, he's conserving we're attacking to defend. Gomez is defending 16th place. Both cars look the same. You can't see the yellow uh, you know, stripe thing we've got. I'm about to change the car for next season. Right, Gomez can stop pushing then. Engelhardt defending the Now you can conserve. Actually going to normal. No, going to push for now before he goes in conserve. There you go. It's going to conserve as well. I don't think Gomez is going to be able to defend this for much longer. So we're defend. We're fighting Dragon Race in China for both. Uh, both drivers are. Gomez is going to lose. Gomez is lost. Gomez is trash. He's got the worst car, unfortunately. But we are ahead of uh, Predator. Just keeping an eye on uh, on Tang here, attacking Engelhart. Waiting for him to push. We've got a better tyre wear. He's pushing. We've got a better tyre wear here, so we should be alright. Um, Parada's retired. Gerardo's retired there, so we're getting another position. Just fine. Santa Ana is what, 40? His engine's. We're going to have to take the risk. Hopefully, he doesn't retire. Uh, 18th place is miles behind Gomez there, so Gomez is fine. 
I go into low because that's what go um, Tang is doing, just to protect that engine. So Gomez is conserving because he's miles away from 15th and 18th is miles away from him, so. Let's go into low. Low and conserve. Protect your parts. If Gomez's car doesn't just magically fail him here. We can. Get 12th position. Um, Machetta there, who was pushing his car in front of us earlier, as a smoking engine, he might have to pit. Is he going to have to pit or uh, risk his car? We're going to overtake him here. Hopefully, he can defend against Dragon Racing there. No, he can't. So, we gain another position, which, if we're lucky, because of how fast Predator are, they won't get. We'll see. Okay, final lap, attack. Attack with your tyres. You might as well attack. Try and catch up to uh, Marchetta, actually. We'll see if Gomez does that, but for now we're looking at Mark Engelhart, who's going to try and get us a 11th place finish. Can't catch 10th, but we should finish at least 12th here. Final corners, our temperature temps are very high. But we have got the tyre wear because of... Of our, of our tire, of our chassis, as well as in smoothness. Dreyfus is out of fuel, where is he? He is 10th, but we're too far to take advantage of that. Gomez has overtaken Marchetta there, the car that was breaking down. Predator got lapped, so they're not going to overtake Marchetta, so we've just gained some easy points there of the Predator. Again, 9 points on them. Gomez with 15th. That was not a complete disaster, that's a solid performance. For Gomez in the end, could have been better, but Engelhardt got his 11th place, that's our highest position I do believe this this, this season. In our history, basically. Yeah, I need to look at my engine I'm improving as well. I might be improving from one that's about to, that has that massive red zone. So Engelhardt there getting 11th, our best place finish in his home Grand Prix. Second highest of the Germans. Which is the same much as only two Germans. <laughs> Dreyfus there beating him by a position. We might get lucky with some rule breaks though, you never know. Are we. Oh no, no, that's just, that's just a penalty for the two there. Garuda there winning away with the championship now. Eastwood, who were uh, in second, are going to fall far behind them now. Although the uh, drivers are looking pretty close. <laughs> within one race, Engelhardt comes within four points of uh, Evans. And within eight points of uh, Anthony. So there we go. We gain some ground. On well, We increase our lead over Predator. And we do gain it on Dragon Racing, but well, I think we've got the same amount of points. Ignore me. But Garuda there starting to win away with the championship. As Eastwood had a pretty bad race. Yeah, fairly, fairly average performance, that said, but to be honest, that's a solid performance for us. You know, we've got the we've got the second worst car on the grid, and we are beating cars that are just better than us. Morale, both going up, because they both did alright. Max built it up slightly as well, which is good. Of course, next season I can make Gomez my reserve driver for, for, for the feedback. It was in a million, which is quite hard, but it's probably going to be worth it to me if Engelhardt can keep doing that type of thing. Because he's always going to start high up with him being halfway through the season. Obviously, I'm having no points. Interview with Mo. No. I wasn't going to complain about me. I'm, I'm, all my parts are crap. Uh, improved parts. Hang on. I need to have a look. Yeah, that is the one I'm improving. To be honest, I only just went into the red zone. So if I get the 
uh, red zone. I forget the reliability to 100. That'd be alright. But next next race we'll have both engines uh, fully upgraded. Which would be good. And we can work on probably the brakes. Actually, no, but the gearbox I'll work on. Probably that gearbox and that suspension. Try and make sure that next season I'll at least get one good set of parts. But that is it for this time and this race. I think that's our best race. How many points did Engelhard get? 10. But anything's ever done. Yeah, that's, that was our best finish. Engelhard got us our best finish this season and in our career, well, in our history, basically. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. So let's play Motorsport Manager with the Livingston Motors. Yeah.